Hi guys, this is Malia with Mustard Tree Market. How are you today? I am the creator and coach here at Mustard Tree Market. Um, and I'm also a brand ambassador for JC Bell Paint Company. Um, I have a private membership group and I think that's about it. I think that's about all I do. I am continuing this medicine cabinet. I don't know if you guys have been watching with me, but we're still going. Um, so I'm going to show you how I'm getting this look. It's called, um, I looked it up. It's called Delphaware. Is that right? Delphaware. Somebody's going to correct me, but you know, the pottery, the porcelain, that's the blue and white. That's where my head goes. Okay. And in the bathroom that this is going to be in, we're doing a bathroom makeover. This is the tile that's on the wall and that's the backsplash behind the buffet. So that's where I'm getting this from. And then we have a bright, colorful shower curtain that's going to be in there to bring out all the pretty colors. Okay. So I'll set that over here. And this is painted in all silk, guys. All silk, okay? Silk paint is a new paint by Dixie Bell. This is painted completely in silk. So I'm wanting to show you that just because you're using silk paint, and silk paint is a very clean, crisp, beautiful, um, smooth finish type of paint. Um, you don't have to top coat it, which is why I love it personally. And that doesn't mean it has to be a smooth finish. I'm not a smooth finish kind of gal. And this is definitely taking on a different look. It's going to look very old and vintage, um, when we're finished with it. So I have painted, I won't tell you, I won't talk forever, but I just want to tell you guys, I did paint these with these colors. I posted them there in my recipe. Um, Nautical is the navy color. Quiet Cove is the softer blue color. And then Sunkissed is the like white ivory color, okay? So those are the colors that are on this, okay? And I did a very sparsity paint job. And I've been going back in and kind of cleaning it up a little bit. But I still like seeing some of the sparsity bleeding through. I'm not wanting it a real clean, like, this line's white, this line's blue. I want it kind of messy, okay? Because I want it to look old. So, ow. Murdered myself with my finger. These are the knobs. My dad actually made these, so they're special to me. He made these, like, Bacolite. I think that's what you, how you say it. Bacolite or whatever, amber knobs. So how cool would that look? Totally Moroccan, right? So that's what's gonna go on there for the knobs. And I use silk screen stencils because they're my favorite thing in the world. And I cut them all up to make these little tiles. That's how I did this. Tile, tile, tile. And I used those out of the mosaic silk screen stencil bundle. You can use them over and over again. And then, um, the other day I added this part in, which really pulled it all together, I feel. And I did that with this little strippy of silk screen. And I just, I just read, stuck it down. They're at, they're, they have an, um, like an adherent on the back, gluey sticky. And that is from the Mandala uh, silk screen bundle. That's what that comes with. So that's how I got there. Um, so these is would you bend trims that I framed these out to make them look more like actual tiles. Okay. Now you will notice when you look closely that I ran out of this trim. Okay. So this happens, right? I don't know how to, like, I didn't measure it all. So I did run out of this would you bend trim. You'll notice that it's different right here. Mm -hmm. Sure is. But you know what? It's eclectic. And I'm telling you this because we all have those things happen. And don't let that ruin your day. Just keep going. I promise you, nobody will be able to tell. Somebody will for sure tell me. <laughs> but the average person will never know. And it's eclectic, okay? Back in the day, if this had gone through a million years, somebody would have repaired that trim with something else. So it's just helping with the aesthetic of making it look neutral. I mean, more uh, original. Okay. <laughs> just so in case everybody's got something to call me out on that. I thought I'd go ahead and beat you to the punch. 
So today what we're going to do is we're going to grunge out the silk. The cool thing about silk is that the finish is already on it. So I don't have to go in and top coat it or anything like that. It's amazing. So I always do like a quick layer of this, the easy peasy spray wax. Cause it's my favorite thing to do my embellishment layer with. Cause it gives me some playability. Um, it just moves things around a little bit and it kind of protects my original layer. So I'm just going to go like that. I started grunging out these ones, but, and I'm not all the way done. I'm going to touch this up a little bit. So don't judge me totally yet. Um, and I'm going to be using the, the new gilding wax and bronze. It's my favorite. It's just a little bit. I love black wax. Brown wax is usually not enough for me because I'm dramatic like that. <laughs> but this is kind of an in-betweeny. It's like a blackish brown. Like, you know, it's bronze, but it's like a dirty bronze. So it's perfect to me. It's just got a little bit of shimmer. So I'm excited to show you guys how that does. And you shake this until it quits shaking up like it's a major liquid. So if you shake it, see how the sound changes? It no longer sounds like I'm shaking water. It starts to sound thick. And that's when you're good to go. And then you spray it. And yeah, I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay. Come on in. I sing too. Come on in. And I'm just going to get a little bit of the getting wax. I'm going to use artist brushes because I've got small, tiny areas. So I've got a, a couple of little artist brushes I'm going to use. And you can ask questions. If I miss it, I'll come back and Dixie Ball is on to help me. But you're going to see how that easy peasy spray wax helps have like some movement to my wax instead of it just sticking in one spot. I can really spread it around to give me that grungy look I want. Start with just a little tiny bit of wax. You can always add more, right? And when I add that easy peasy spray wax first, it also gives me the ability to erase this if I go in too hard. And it's too much I can always I always have this on hand have a shop towel and I squirt the shop towel with the easy peasy and then I have my little eraser tool that if I get it up here and I don't want it up here see I just wipe that right off I don't know if you can see that but it does I'll pull you in real close how about that whoa See if that helps give you some good view right there. All right, you won't be able to see me as much, but I'm here, I promise, okay? So we're using the Gilding Wax Bronze, and this is a an oil-based wax, the new Gilding Waxes, so it doesn't need to be sealed either. It's good to go. So since I use silk and this kind of gilding wax, this will be done. I won't have to top coat this and this is going in a bathroom. It'll be just fine. Silk is the best paint for like kitchen cabinets, bathroom cabinets, cause it's got that mildew and um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's moisture mildew resistant. So it is really good for these types of projects. I love the way that silk screen little trim did. I just couldn't get it to pull together. It needed something else, you know? And that totally did it. It's hard to do over there because I can't see what I'm doing. You guys tell me if I miss a spot. <laughs> Did you guys know we carry transfers and decoupage right now? Did you guys know this? Ooh, buddy. Tell you what. We do. We do. We do. And they're amazing. If you follow my page, you're fully aware of that because I've been posting it like crazy. But these silkscreen stencils are amazing. 
they make such precise, intricate detail, and they make applying a stencil so easy. You can't get that kind of detail. And I did this very like rustic -y, so I wasn't trying to make it perfect. But the kind of detail that these silk screens have, you just can't do that with regular stencils. And I apply it with the blue Gator Hide sponge, like I cut a chunk out of it. And it really is perfect, it's foolproof. Foolproof. And I'd never done a, like the blue and white tile look. I've never done that before. And I felt inspired by our backsplash tile that we got to install. So I thought, try something new. That's my story. Great. Are you guys excited to try the new decoupage and new transfer line? You guys should be. Because they're incredible. <laughs> that looks cool, right? It looks a lot more authentic. When you grunge it out, to me, it just makes it actually like all work. It makes it look old. And if you guys would pass this along, this video along, that's super appreciated. And I did put the recipe right there in the comments. I pinned it so that you guys can see all the colors in case you missed that part that I used. And it has the number of the Would You Been trim that I used for the majority of it <laughs> as well. And let's spray this guy up here. Let's see here. So we are doing a total bathroom remodel and I'm doing kind of an anthropology style. So it's a fun one to watch. I like to use my finger to move the waxes. It's my favorite tool that Jesus gave me. <laughs> All right. See how this gives us like a little different kind of a grunge? I like it. I like it. It's like a little bit more of a grunge than just a brown wax. It's not quite as harsh as a black wax. And then you take your shop towel with easy peasy on it and you can kind of rub it around and make it look really authentic. I like to rub it back really lightly because see how it does that? See how it makes it look different? It kind of like deepens the color or something. See, I like the look that it gives. And I also kind of like to pop, let the white pop back a little bit when I do this. You let some of the braised areas pop back. But see how that looks when you wipe it back? It starts to like really get looking more like oil stains or something, you know, like finger, fingerprinty. Not so intentional.
And you would never guess it was silk paint now, right? Looks all grungy. But it shows you can grunge anything, even the silk. Even the silk paints. I'll probably pull you guys in so you can see that. See the difference between the really clean and then the grungy? See how it looks really authentic? Cool, right? you guys in here and show you again this other side and show you the difference so see how that gilding wax gives you kind of like a little bit of a shimmer it's just the right amount that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today I'll take you off and give you a better look and show you a little bit closer up. Ooh, sorry. So there's the side with a little bit less. I think I'm liking this side the best. Don't you guys think? I like the level of grunge on this side. And if you look, yep. So there's more grunge on the left side, a little less grunge on the right side. And then down here is no grunge at all. So see the difference? I think this looks a lot more authentic. And look at that depth and dimension it gives it. It really looks like this side stands out a lot, right? It looks like it sticks out. It's got definite definition to it. So that's a lot of fun. And I'm loving that. 
And these silkscreen stencils, look at the look at that detail. Even with me trying to make it kind of weathered, it's still got so much detail. So much detail. You would never get that with a regular stencil. And there's the woodie bins. And I just used some Dixie Mud to put these little cracks to kind of put them together, make them look great. And then we'll get these knobs on here and we'll totally have that look that I'm going for. Uh, message me if you have any questions. Thanks guys, bye.